Whenever we have visible flame venting out a window, firefighters going to the floor above should be aware that auto exposure could occur. If the windows failed or are in the process of failing, consider propping up a door over the interior of the window to prevent the extension of fire to this floor. Scissor stairs are a type of stairway that cross over and lead you out of the stairwell on opposite ends on each floor. The standpipe usually only runs up one of the stairwells, and when you hook up on the floor below, you'll end up in a different location on the fire floor. Always note the stairwell designation letters of your stairs. Usually there is one for fire attack and one for evacuation. When we encounter smoke conditions on numerous floors, we may need to vent many areas. Firefighters can carry 12 penny nails and a rubber band in their coat pockets. By placing the nail head against the frame and the point inside the hinge screw, we can create a simple chock to assist in our ventilation efforts. Whenever we approach the standpipe outlet, we should perform a quick size up to see if all the parts are intact. Prior to hooking up our hose line, open the valve and flush the system. Also ensure the metal piping and threads are secure and serviceable. Firefighters should be aware of buildings that don't have compactor receptacles inside closets on the floors. This can permit fire extension out of the chute and down the hallway, endangering fleeing occupants and advancing firefighters. When operating in zero visibility in long hallways, firefighters must always remember that apartment doors open inward. Doors that open outward could be elevator shaftways, storage areas, or utility rooms. If you feel hinges, chances are it's not an apartment. Some units store the increaser onto the spare nozzle in their standpipe bags or kits so it can be easily located in smoke conditions. Although a simple task to perform, firefighters should train in the dark or with their hoods on backwards to simulate poor visibility and take the tip off the nozzle and place the increaser onto the shutoff. Attaching a length of hose to the increaser could also be done for drill purposes.